My name is Alexander Moskis. I'm the music coordinator at CQT. I've been in the position since December 2017. Uh, I've been involved with the station since about 2003. As a volunteer, and I used to be the librarian as well. Well, I'm a musician, and um, you know, when I moved to Montreal, you know, we started. Me and my friends just started listening to the radio stations in the city. And CKG was clearly the most interesting one, so just immediately just like fell in love with everything that happened on the airwaves, the incredibly um, awesome community that does radio here, both through McGill and just through the city of large. There's something magical about radio that is inherent to the technology itself. I just love the fact that it just beams <laughs> across the city, you know. Um, and I love hearing people's voices. Podcasting comes out of radio, but is not. It's a different medium entirely. And especially with regard to music programming, like um, there's not a lot of music podcasts, right? Like you don't, you listen to a playlist, you listen to a podcast about music, people talking about music, but podcasts are generally people speaking. Radio is a way of transmitting music is like, it's a super important role It transcends borders. You know, you, CKT has a really strong signal. So uh, you can pick it up in Northern Vermont on a clear night. And as a kid, like that's both the university radio stations and CBC used to have a late night show called Brave New Waves that played far out strange music. You know, that's like, we just opened this whole world. I've always been pretty open-minded about music. So I'm willing to listen to anything really. For example, soca music, I never, really got into soca music. It's, as a genre, soca music wasn't always my favorite, uh, but more recently just listened to it at the station, getting uh, the soca programs here. It's like, okay, wow, there's some really amazing stuff here. So, Given time, you get you, uh, you get used to it, you know, and you start to understand, you start to pick up on the nuances. You start to pick up on elements that you do like. All that's required for Expanding your musical horizons is a good bit of patience, you know, letting your ears just adapt to the new sounds and the rhythms, whatever it is. Uh, there used to be a late night show called Night Train. Uh, Lion's Den was a uh, Wednesday afternoon hip hop show. It was amazing. Thursday nights, there used to be an overnight one called Entertainment Through Pain that played noise music and kind of weird out there music. It was great. Well, we have a specific process that we use to review all the music that gets sent to us. We get sent a lot of music. It comes in many forms. Uh, it's sent, uh, we get it sent to us as physical media, like CDs, uh, vinyl LPs, cassettes, and then the um, majority of it gets sent to us digitally. So we had like an open process where um, volunteers get together and listen to music and decide which records suit CKG's mandate. By law, we're not allowed to play top 40 music because of our broadcast license. We tend to favor things that come from marginalized communities, underrepresented communities. We love things that are made. Um, I would say things that where you can see the scotch tape a bit or where you can just things that are homemade or that come from, you know, people making music in their basements or their bedrooms. Lately, I've been telling our volunteer listening groups to be a little more, uh, a little more strict or just like a little more harsh because we don't have a lot of time. We don't have, uh, because of the pandemic, there's just less uh, access to the building. Um, so. I have a lot less, I don't have volunteers that can come and help. It's a lot of work to maintain it as well, so we have to be careful. But with digital music, it's a little different because, you know, storage spaces, we pay for it, but storage spaces, the feels are limited. Really but it's just great to have like a group of like pretty dedicated volunteers, especially, um, you know, people that are students, they're just like a little more tuned into what people are enjoying, you know, and so, you know, a group of people sitting around listening to a piece of music, talk about it, the merits, 
things that are so great about it. Yeah. We just want to make sure that we're supporting the musicians that um, that need CKT support, right? So if they have a lot of money behind them, um, if they have you know a major record label line or uh, whatever else, like we'd, we'd probably be less likely to to keep it just because this uh, just a limited amount of space. So we want to offer that space to the people that need CKT support. There's a really great uh, record that came out by an artist from Montreal, an artist from Toronto called Body Break. They made a record that's really good that just came out. There is a poet from Philadelphia called Moor Mother who just made a record. I guess it's more like a hip hop record, but it's really amazing. Um, if anyone ever wants to find out what we're playing, we put uh, we have we do a top 30 chart every week that are on the music blog, which you can link, which, which is linked to through the website. So if you want to see what CKT is playing a lot of, that's the place to go. Google listen, you know, that's the best way to get to know it, is to just tune in. Yeah.